dear students today we are going to discuss about social worker as a counselor both social work and counseling are professional services provided to the individual to help them solve a problem situation social worker uses not only counseling but also methods of social work namely case work group work and community organization in addition to counseling now let's have a look on the objectives of this lesson after reading the lesson you will learn about a nature and functions of social work b the techniques and skills of social work c the skills of counseling d similarities and differences between social work and counseling let us have an understanding about nature and functions of social work social work aims at social change empowerment and problem solving the social worker deals with problems of clinical setting community development setting industrial setting crisis centers and trauma centers occasional guidance of the individuals social workers try to solve psychosocial problems helps in adjustment problems and creates avenues for self sufficiency the social worker improves social relations and provides corrective and recreation services and opportunities for development and social progress social worker helps in social change she also tries to help the people with socio legal aid now let us understand in detail about social workers role social worker counsels and supports the people in the role of a caretaker as a consultant she will assist in their problems and supports them with programs as a liaison she helps people understand each other and develop interactions among them as a mobilizer she brings new and available resources to solve their problem social worker in the role of evaluator evaluates the potentialities and limitations of the client or client group As a referral agent she refers the client to use services of different agencies social worker cannot fulfill her role without facing challenges in her work resistance and hostility prevails different levels and which will become a hurdle for her practice of social work the social worker will not accept social darwinism the social darwinism supports the view of the survival of the fittest but social work will not accept the stronger animals living on small and weak animals for their survival that means it opposes the privileged group of the society namely the rich and strong living on the less privileged groups the socially the physically mentally and the economically weaker groups the social work always supports the less privileged groups helps to come on par with other groups the function of social work is to restore the social functioning of the individual the impaired social functioning is restored of by social worker it has two aspects curative and rehabilitative aspects the social worker cures or treats the problem by recommending treatment measure and also helps the client to makes use of it for example the social worker suggested a hearing aid to a partially deaf person the client with his hearing aid may not able to adjust immediately when he hears all sounds he gets confused requires lot of time to adjust this is where social worker helps to bring back the client to normal condition we call it rehabilitation the social worker makes arrangement for the provision of resources it has two aspects to understand the function of social worker the developmental and the educational aspects development is very essential in improving the life of the persons the individuals groups and communities though they are living well the social work help improve still further thus 
social work develops the life of individual groups and communities educating the public new ideas and innovations to change the lives is another aspects of providing resources for their well-being lastly most important function of the social worker is prevention of evils of the society in addition of solving the problems arising out of social evils prevention is better and helps in keeping the social evils now let's have a look on the techniques and skills of social work the social worker is genuinely interested in the client to help him the client develops faith in the worker that she is capable of help him this helps in establishing positive and professional relationship between the worker and the client she accepts the client as he is and tries to understand his potentials and limitations in addition to these techniques of relationship acceptance advocacy supporting counseling advising agreeing disagreeing reviewing etc the skills social worker uses are observation communication listening questioning explaining informing confronting clarifying reassuring reflecting understanding silence summarization and termination now let's understand the concept of counseling counseling is an interactive process between the counselor and counselee to help the counselee's needs with her counseling the counselor will relieve the counselee's or clients of his stress helps in decision makers and problem solving Counseling in social case work was started first by Bertha Reynolds in the year 1932. Counseling is a personal help to individual who was unable to solve his problems by himself. She because of her knowledge, experience with her orientation and with social realities, she will help the client in solving his problem. She will guide the client in the choice plan or adjustment he needs in solving his problem face to face interaction of the counselor and the client will help to perceive clarify solve and resolve client's adjustment problems the client in the safe and secure environment of the counselor and her professional relationship he will accept previously denied experiences and try to solve his problem counseling will help the client to solve present problem and prepares him for future tasks improving his efficiency and resources the committee on definition of division 17 of the american psychological association describes the objectives of counseling as follows client's realistic acceptance of his capacities motivations and self attitudes Next the client's achievement of a reasonable harmony with his social economic and occasional environment and society's acceptance of individual differences and their implications for community employment and marriage relations now let's look into the role and functions of counselor the counselor requires skills to establish rapport skills for effective communication skills of listening questioning etc the counselor because of her helping attitude genuineness openness personal soundness and mastery over the subject the counselor needs to possess good interpersonal skills in the areas of communication listening and nonverbal behavior capacity to accept the individual and faith in his capacity to change is another area where the competence of counselor is seen research shows that the counselor should possess capacity to demonstrate cognitive flexibility and ability to conceptualize the counselor's skills in problem solving in mobilizing resources her skills in continuous learning and memory also help her to work effectively problem solving skills 
skills in recording, skills in critical thinking, organizing skills are also very essential in counselor client transactions. Similarities of social work and counseling. Let us understand this. Both social case work as a method of social work and counseling have the have certain objectives. The objective of case work is to help individual solve his psychosocial problems. By helping him, the social worker in the role of case worker will not only solve present problem but also develops capacity to solve future problems. Counseling also solves the individual's present problem and prepares the individual for future tasks with high degree of efficiency to solve problems. Both casework and counseling deal with the same kind of clients. The client may be a man, women or child or who is in need of help is accepted as clients. Both deal with same kind of problems, problems arising out of social functioning, their mal adjustment is corrected and social adjustment is made possible. The social worker as well as the counsellor help the client to meet the demands of the environment by correcting the inner that is psychological and outer that is environmental factors that are coming in the way of the client's adjustment. Both casework and counselling will effectively make use of the professional relationship. With professional relationship, the problem of the client is identified. Relationship only channel with which the client's potentialities are mobilized. In short, the study, diagnosis and treatment are planned basing on the relationship. Both caseworker and counselling believes in the worth and dignity of the individual. The individual is respected not that he is rich, not that he is intelligent and is from high social status, but he is a human being. He has a right to take help to improve his situation. He has right to take decisions. Both social work and counselling have same principles. Social work and counselling give importance to individualization. That means individuals are unique. They differ in their personalities. Their family background is also different. Their reactions and coping capacities are different. That is why treatment also must be planned accordingly. Professional relationship, use of self and effective communication are also important similarities of social work and counselling. Professional relationship. Help cannot be given to anybody without relationship. Relationship is an emotional bond between people who interact with each other. Helping or service professions always think and plan for a positive relationship with which they can help their clients. Human relations are useful in promoting change and development. When a social worker establishes positive relationship purposefully to help the clients, it is called as professional relationship. The relationship which is established with a purpose definitely will be terminated once the purpose is served. The relationship has certain characteristics features. Now let us look into these features. First, purpose and concern for the client system. Second, expectations. Third, empathy and clear communication. Fourth, genuineness and acceptance. Fifth, authority. The worker shows concern and client feels and realizes that worker is willing to help him. Concern includes understanding, warmth, unconditional respect and likening. This is usually is communicated through punctuality, taking consent before making home visit, observing cultural norms for showing respect, active listening, questioning, commenting when the client needs support. The worker's knowledge, skills and experience is used to influence the client towards desirable purpose. 
it is this purpose that improves social functioning of the client expectations generally expectations of future affect the present behavior which in turn influences future behavior and sense of security thus expectations are major determinants of behavior the client's expectations whether fulfilled or unfulfilled will have an impact on client's relationship with the worker and the interaction between them let us understand the concept of genuineness and acceptance genuine and honest relationship has openness and behavior matching with verbalized intentions will strengthen the professional relationship that leads for problem solving congruence implies worker what he feels inside should be consistent with thinking and talking genuineness and congruence comes out of one's capacities attitudes prejudices personal values temperament etc knowledge of agency and its policies procedures role commitment to the client's welfare this only facilitates genuineness acceptance is to accept or like the person but not all his actions because of the belief in the worth and ability of the client the worker believes in the self determination of the client because of the situation the individual behaves in the undesirable way but if an opportunity is given the worker believes the change is inevitable three types of expectations are seen in worker client relationship the worker feels about the ability and desire to change the client situation the worker believes that once the client is motivated with the help and support client can change if there is a gap between the expectations of the worker and the client it will disturb the professional relationship of the client and the worker let us understand the concept of empathy perlman in the year 1979 explains empathy is as being able to get into others shoes empathy implies that workers understanding of the feelings of the client and he or she is there to give support to the client the next concept we are going to understand is authority when the client's ego functioning is poor the worker plays a protective kind of services the society has given power of authority to the worker power indicates the inherent ability of the worker because of his or her knowledge and experience and also the agency status this authority influence the client to move towards the goal of change and development authority is a part of worker client relationship the authority serves as a status point to engage client in helping process helps in dealing with the resistance of the client gives the support of an adequate person creates trust and rapport quickly guides the immature people minimizes anxiety gives a sense of security and better service the worker find number of hurdles in establishing relationship workers caste religion social status also influences the quality of relation these factors either develop or disturb the relationship with the client while communicating her interpretation of the problem the worker may convey information related to her cultural factor or prejudices which may hinder the relationship client's past experiences acquainted persons may influence the rapport with the worker the client might view an over disciplinary father or a non cooperative brother in worker and he will become rigid and non cooperative with the worker disturbing the professional relationship this is called transference where the client transfers his feelings and attitudes which he was having towards significant members on the worker the worker 
also should be aware of this own emotional needs, attitudes, prejudices and values so that it will not interfere with her relationship with the client. Workers training in social skills of active awareness, mastering over interpersonal skills, building trust communication, listening and expression of feelings etc. will help worker in establishing relationship with the client. Use of self is also common to both social worker and counsellor. The social worker brings not only the knowledge, principles, theories of social work but also her awareness, her biases and prejudices. This understanding will help in establishing relationship with the client. The social worker uses self as counsellor uses. Another important concept in this lesson is communication. The worker interviews her clients for solving his or her problem. Effective communication will help him or her to elicit information from the client and his family. Effective relationship is useful in establishing rapport with the client. Because of the positive relationship with the worker, the client will disclose his or her problem and discusses with the worker. The social worker as counsellor makes use of his or her communication to establish rapport, study the case and discuss with the client. Communication is not just to understand the message given by the client but it has to be understood as a stimulus and a response. While giving the response, it acts as a stimulus to change his or her behavior. Here, the counselor has to follow the totality of the person in total situation. When the client does not want to communicate or maintaining silence, the counselor has to continue talking, supporting, encouraging him to express his viewpoint. The client will use symbols to reveal his experiences. It is difficult to talk one's own experiences and even still more obscure for counsellor to understand correctly. Social work and counselling. The social worker will view the client in the holistic approach. The social worker not only studies, diagnoses and treats that is solve the problem for which the client is referred but also takes up the related problems of the client. This holistic approach is not found in counselling. The social worker finds a concrete help in social, economic and psychological factors of the client. Client choice is respected. The counsellor has limited relations with the client's factors. Social work deals with psychosocial problem whereas counsellor deals with the behavioural problems of the client with his or her ability to counsel them. Counselling help is therapeutic in nature to solve specific problem whereas social workers help is also therapeutic in nature but concrete help has specific and primary place. Counselor deals with the problem directly with face to face relationship with the client. Social worker will make use of counselling in solving members of problems. Apart from it, she will take up variety of tasks including the work with community mental health team. Social worker while using casework method in solving individual problems makes use of counselling to help the individuals. Apart from counselling, she uses environmental and manipulation material help. Social worker uses relationship, uses self and skill of communication just like counselling. But in addition, the total person in total environment using holistic approach. Social worker uses counselling along with other methods of intervention. She will make use of the technique, skills of counselling while helping individual who are in need of help. 